for a fairly small machine, this thing was uh, quite a bit of a challenge to bring down the stairs. Uh, definitely need two people, maybe three. That's about close to 200 pounds. Um, so we're going to go ahead and set this up right now. Also important thing when you get a claw machine is to cut these ties here before you turn them on. Um, and then it would allow it to freely uh, move. So I'm going to cut all these plastic ties off. Right, we just turned it on for the first time. And there it is. This is shot. It's four. It's pretty cool. So. Oh. Twenty-two inch mini treasure claw machine uh, that I just picked up, and I'm going to do a quick uh, overview review of this machine. Um, as you can see here, it has a little red blinking button, um, nice very joystick here, and it does come with a pair of uh, keys here. Uh, you get the two purple, and you're hearing the music in the background. Uh, two yellow keys, which gives you these two locks, and you can pretty much configure this machine so that way. You can adjust a lot of the basic things that you would find within the claw machine. Um, but inside the machine itself, you can see all the mechanics. And this is where the coin gets dropped in from the top here. Um, and there's a control board right on the side, which you can adjust the different modes. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get into all that in this video, uh, but I wanted to quickly uh, let you know that this is a very solid machine. Um, pick this off candymachines.com. And uh, inside, it has uh, the different compartments, as you can see, for all the different plushies that you can put up back there. Uh, everything in the back there is customized with the poles. Um, it does come with a, a claw grip. So the claw itself is able to accommodate five to seven inch plushies, which is really nice, especially for a mini claw machine. Um, this is a little bit different than a standard um, claw machine because the chute is in the back. Um, most of them are typically in the front here. Yeah, but I do like this feature because it's a little bit different, creates a little bit of variety if you have multiple machines. Um, and the other one thing I want to point out here is the side on the angles here. It has the little lights. It does change different colors over time. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty solid buy if you guys are looking to get into claw machines. Uh, certainly one of the better machines that I've uh, experienced. And if you're interested, make sure you check out. They have very good um, options there for you to choose from um, aside from this one. So. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.